Hi there, here we have the 2013 Honda CRV. This is the 2 litre iVTEC EX. I'll do a video walking around the car, showing me the vehicle condition. I'll also be showing me the interior and all the controls as we go inside the car. Starting off the front, as you can see, it does have the Bison on headlights, it does have the front parking sensors. There's no sort of major scuffs or scratches on the front bumper. Bonnet is also nice and clean, so no sort of major dents or marks. Alloys all around the car are also in amazing condition. So refurbished by Rushmore's. So no sort of marks on any of the alloys. So these are the 18 inch. As you can see, tires are practically brand new. So um, quite a lot of tread on them. Once again, alloys at the back, all really nice and clean. Just to confirm, So just to confirm, it is a one previous owner, so two owners in total. Rashmores, I've done a full mechanical check, a full service, and a new 12 months of until will be done at point of sale. Moving on at the back of the car now. So once again, it does have the rear parking sensors. So not only does it have front and rear sensors, it does also have a reversing camera. So your rear camera is obviously just there, activated on the screen inside the car. I'll show you once we jump inside. It does have the rear privacy glass, your roof rails and the keyless entry as well it is also keyless go so it does have the engine stop start button which i'll show you once we go inside the car aa warranty as well as a 12 months breakdown cover so that all comes in with the price of the car you do also have the option to extend the warranty up to 36 months so this is something we kindly recommend at rushmore's right so that was the exterior let's jump inside the car show you the interior as well now Starting off with the front passenger door, no sort of major marks. So for 2013, it is actually in good condition. Full leather seats, which are also heated, and the driver's side is electrical adjustable. It does have the panoramic roof as well, as you can see. I think my favourite thing about the um, CRVs is that it does have the... Uh, 90 degrees door opening um, position for the back so very very easy to put stuff in and out and also to jump in and out of the car especially if you have uh, a baby so it does have the isofix or young children uh, with the car seats it is very very easy to put them in and out of the car having this door that opens up so wide full leather seats at the back as well as you saw another good thing about them is the boot space so showing you the boot space now, as you can see, it is really, really good. It is an electric tailgate. So as you can see, there is a button just here. So a few minor marks on the actual tailgate itself uh, inside the lever. So that is quite common from loading and unloading, but nothing major at all. Anyways, that button just here. Does have the child lock just there as you can see. <coughs> Pet free and smoke free, so no sort of funny odors in the vehicle. Okay, so driver's side door now. So it does have the memory electrical seats as you can see. So the memory seats are just here. Got electrical adjustment as you can see just there for your um, driver's side seat front and rear electric windows obviously controlled by the driver you've got the lock for the windows as well if there is children in the back and they are opening the windows it does have the electric door mirrors for you to adjust and also fold in as well so that is the fold in button just there moving on it does have the um, front headlight washers as well as you can see there you've got your parking sensors button you've got the heel assist as well as your uh, electric tailgate opener just there right so moving on inside the car now so it does have the leather multifunctional steering wheel so once again it is quite common to have marks like this around this steering wheel um so that is obviously once after a few years that does happen it does have the engine stop start button so it is keyless go the key is currently in my pocket and it allows me to turn the car on 
cruise control on this side as you can see it does have the paddle shift so you've got the option to change the gears yourself if you want it does have the auto lights so i'm going to leave them on auto now so during the night time they know to automatically turn on so it does have the touchscreen sat nav on board as you can see so you have your map currently if you wanted to zoom in and out obviously you can use this as well and obviously select the destination you want to go to if you go on to map which we are currently on now obviously it won't change anything if we want to go to menu it will obviously have the address uh, place you wanted to obviously enter uh, so that is on there go home obviously you can save your home address um so for safety i don't i wouldn't really recommend adding a home address but it is obviously your, your own sort of uh, decision. It does have the Bluetooth telephone. So obviously once it is connected, so phone set up, you just go on here and connect it obviously with the phone. Go onto your phone, onto Bluetooth, onto settings and connect it. Once it's connected, any phone calls that come through, you are able to answer or decline just there. It obviously tell you on the screen who's, who's calling you as well, which is quite good. does have if you go onto the source it does have the fm and dab radio as well you do also have the bluetooth audio so once it's connected to the bluetooth you can play your music in the vehicle as well it does have the aux and cd insert so you see the insert is just here so it does have the um heated seats as you can see just here driver's side and passenger both have their heated seats 12 12 volts just here putting the car in reverse you've got your rear screen which is obviously activated as you can see just here putting it back in park obviously the screen goes to wherever it was originally so if we turn on the climate control it does show you on the um, trip computer just there let's say and also down below so if you've got the um, dual climate control on so your driver's side can obviously be hot let's say and the passenger side can be cool so that is quite nice to obviously have one last thing i wanted just to point out i don't know if you can see it on the actual um video itself but there is a slight crack just there on the windscreen so that does not affect the drive at all it obviously still uh, you are still managed to to pass the mot's um however it is a crack just there on the windscreen unfortunately on the actual video itself you might not be able to see it as much um so nothing major at all it's just obviously good to know uh, what the car has and doesn't have um so just a crack just there which is obviously looks like it's been treated obviously we've had a look at it it doesn't look like it's been um spreading or anything like that more cracks so apart from that minor defect the car is in immaculate considering in immaculate condition considering the um the age and the mileage if there is any further questions or any finance arranging then please don't hesitate to give us a call as we're more than happy to help all right thanks for watching